Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's uh, Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to give you a demonstration of the latest update of Pure Piano, which has added such a fantastic new functionality. So I'm sure you will really like it. And I would like to thank you as well and the organization to give me the opportunity to review the update, but also to provide some uh, free codes to free people which are going to be the fortunate ones to try for free uh, Pure Piano. Okay, I hope you enjoy, so let's go get straight into it. Thank you. Okay, as I mentioned in the introduction, uh, this is a, a new release of uh, Pure Piano, a new upgrade with new fantastic uh, um, added functionality. But before I go into that, let me remind you a little bit about how Pure Piano sounds. As you can see, uh, I'm running Pure Piano inside AUM, so I'm using AUM as a host. Pure Piano works as an AUV3 plugin, but also works in a standalone mode. And there are differences, of course, between the two. For example, if you want to import a preset, which you can do in this uh, release, you have to use the standalone version. So just remember that. But there are other differences as well, which works the other way around. For example, as you will see, you have a new options to um, um, sync to the BPM host from a delaying timing perspective and that is only possible of course when you're running Pure Piano as a, a host. But before we go into those functionality let's remind ourselves how Pure Piano sounds because it's a fantastic instrument. I have uh, connected an Innovation Launch Key uh, 49 keys into uh, AUM, so I'm going to use that one. I also have a sustain pedal, pedal as well. So let's uh, play a little bit with this fantastic uh, instrument. responsive really really nice uh, if you close your eyes it feels like playing a grand piano is really really nice as you know from uh, uh, the previous tutorial that i created on pure piano you have this uh, morph cursor in the middle and you can move these around what i call the outer point as you can see and as you move uh, the cursor near to one of these points it will change the sound of the piano so you can go from a pure sound to a more intimate one. And you can hear the difference straight away. It's softer, more intimate as a sound. it more percussive as a sound so you move it more to the right towards this percussive setting and remember it is morphing from one sound to the other so you can choose the position to have it bright as a sound. Really nice. Or maybe a little bit of a detune. Thank you. 
nice sound that you can hear the different characteristic as you move around the, the different outer points. So this one is uh, cinematic. So I have it in reverse mode. Really nice for some, for example, song introduction, really nice. You can have it as a pound, so and cross between a piano and a pad sound, really nice. And of course, you can have it more of a traditional mellow sound as well. Now, in this version, they added the functionality of swapping the outer points. So if you click here, on this edit button now you have the ability to swap the outer point and this gives you a lot of functionality so for example if you want to have a sound between intimate and bright now you can do it just swapping the points here with percussive or for example you can swap percussive with detune and you can carry on like that so you can have something perhaps um, I don't know between intimate and detuning as well and when you finish, you just click on the button again and then move your cursor between the two outer points. Really nice indeed. And remember, you also have controls of your velocity curve, which is really, really important. So just click up here, okay? And you have your velocity response. And you can set it between linear, which is the default one, or softer, which makes it easier to play brighter notes. In this case, you don't have to press hard on the key, so you might have it the opposite, hard. You really need to press hard to get uh, a higher velocity. You can have it fixed as well. Really nice. And of course, you can adjust it yourself as well if you prefer a different setting. So remember that I find these very very useful so for example if i'm playing i don't know a scott joplin part then i might want to put that on a soft like so and vice versa and if i'm playing a different piece i might go to a hard setting or maybe i just stick to the linear setting okay so you have also an effect uh, se uh, session or part as we showed in a previous tutorial, this is where you can control an equalizer, a reverb, and also a delay. By default, each one are controlled by the move pad, but if you click on this setting for each of the effects, you can disable that, in this case, the equalizer. Now you can change the gain and the frequency for low, medium, and high. And you can hear straight away the effect. Of course, you can add your reverb. Again, you disable the control for by the move pad. And in this case, you can change the amount, the timing, and also the dumping. And finally, you also have the ability to have delay as well as an effect. Again, 
you can disable uh, the delay to be controlled by the move pad and you can adjust therefore your amount, the timing and the feedback. And it's nice to see the visual here. One addition of, of this release is the ability to sync it to uh, the BPM of the host. In that case, you can see here as I'm moving the time, it is done by subdivision now, which is really nice. And again, you didn't have these uh, features in uh, the previous release, so really nice. Of course, you can disable the effect as well if you wish to do so. Okay, let's move on now. We talked, of course, about the velocity response already, but also you have uh, master tuning here and you see the frequency here you can adjust it with plus and minus button you can also transpose it in terms of semitone and then you can change the musical tuning you can have an equal uh, tuning throughout the keyboard or you can have a stretch one which emphasizes more the chord and the solo so it depends on what you're really looking for and again great addition now in this latest release you have a mechanics settings which allows you to change the key noise here really nice and you can also have pedal noise as well you can hear as i'm pressing or the pressing the pedal you can hear that effect on the pedal i'm trying to, i'll do it again and of course you can adjust your setting you have your master volume here as you had in the previous release as well you have settings as well here just as a reminder you can set setting for your velocity just a reminder if you set the voice mode to mean uh, or to minimal the liquid morph will be disabled i'll come back to this in a moment but this is where you can set to have it in voice mode to minimal economic optimize and maximum that changes the polyphony that you have available with maximum to have of course the maximum polyphony available you have also the ability to change the volume the liquid move which means that uh, if it is active and you have for example in voice mode in optimize or max mode you for example have um the move pad affecting also notes which are already played or are sustained if you have it off it will be the opposite you can set uh, the different midi channel you can do also a factory reset as well something else as well and uh, here you have the access to and uh, the different factory presets you can also add some of them you can also export some of them and if you run a pure piano in a standalone version you can also import preset as well which is an additional features of uh, of this latest release so overall this is a, a fantastic instrument remember under here you have the i icon where you have all the help that you actually need and this version has been also optimized for ios 15 and has been also um, changes down to the way that the, the AUV3 renders as well, so is much neater as uh, you can say. But let's again play a little bit more with the sound.
fantastic sound from pure piano okay i'm going to stop here for this demonstration please remember to subscribe to the channel gives a thumb up and also uh, try pure piano because it is such a fantastic instrument and these release as really are this such a great functionality that we didn't have uh, before so the ability to swap the outer point uh, and morphing between them gives a completely different set of uh, optionality and presets that you can create using pure piano okay see you at the next video thank you bye